It takes a thick skin to survive in the big city. This is the axolotl. It's one of the most unique animals on earth. That furry mane, those are external gills. I mean, imagine your lungs on the outside of your body. The axolotl is capable of regeneration. It can regrow whole limbs, bones and all. And unlike other salamanders, it can stay in its juvenile form seemingly indefinitely. And it lives in only one place in the world, Mexico City. These salamanders were sacred to the ancient Aztecs and are still beloved by locals today. You can find axolotls all over the place in Mexico. Artwork, sculptures, hell, even the official logo for Mexico City is an axolotl. Yes, you can find axolotls everywhere in Mexico City. Everywhere that is, except in the wild. You see, it takes a thick skin to survive in the big city, and axolotls, well, they have a very thin skin indeed. Axolotls, and in fact all amphibians, have skin made up of porous membrane. It keeps them hydrated, but it also means that they feel any water pollution more acutely than perhaps any other type of animal. They literally absorb the pollution in the water through their skins. That's why amphibians all over the world are facing the threat of extinction faster than almost any other type of animal. 41% of all amphibian species are threatened with extinction today. Even amphibians in remote corners of the world are facing threats. And the tiny axolotl? Well, it doesn't live in a distant, faraway place. No, it's found in only one place, Lake Xochimilco, which just so happens to be surrounded by the largest urban center in the entire Western Hemisphere. Mexico City and its 20 million inhabitants pen in Lake Xochimilco on all sides. As Mexico City expands, the lake must shrink. Xochimilco is home to traditional small farms called chinampas. These small plots of land date back to the Aztecs and created a system of waterways that were just perfect for axolotls to live in. But today, Xochimilco is a popular tourist attraction for foreigners and locals alike. And not many people want to be farmers. The coup de gras was the introduction of the invasive carp and tilapia in the 1960s. The Mexican government meant to create a fishing industry, but nowadays few people are eating tilapia or carp caught in Xochimilco. But the carp, well, they're eating the axolotls. These three combined threats, habitat loss, pollution, and invasive species may prove too much for the wild axolotl. I filmed much of this footage at the axolotl exhibit in the Mexico City Zoo. This new amphibian exhibit was recently opened in 2023 and it's dedicated to educating the public about axolotl's natural habitat and life cycle. But it may be too little too late. A survey in 1998 found 6,000 axolotls per square kilometer in Xochimilco. By 2008, it was just 100. The most recent surveys I came across found just 35 axolotls per square kilometer, and that was before COVID. Today, there is a distinct possibility that axolotls are fully extinct in the wild. Compared to many other amphibians, which are often out of sight and therefore out of mind, the axolotl is a rock star. It's been a perpetually popular salamander. The Aztecs worshipped it as a god. Scientists studied them for their amazing regenerative powers. Research on axolotls led to breakthroughs in understanding how organs and tissues develop and have made contributions to stem cell research. And today, on the internet, axolotls are having a moment. They are on trend. Unlike the warty toad, axolotls are, well, they're cute. There are axolotl YouTube creators. There's a growing subreddit dedicated to them and they are a popular pet. It's a cruel twist of fate that the axolotl population and captivity is booming while it goes functionally extinct in the wild. And what does it say about us? That even when an animal is beloved, even worshiped for literally centuries, that we still can't keep it alive in the wild. Yes, it takes a thick skin to survive in this world, and sadly, axolotls don't have one. Well, that was something a little bit different, but I hope you still learned something about the underwater world. If you enjoyed this video and want to see more like it, please consider subscribing.